did it. We won. This is a historic week in internet politics, maybe American politics. The thing that we heard from people in Washington, D.C., from staffers on Capitol Hill was they received more emails and more phone calls on Super Blackout Day than they'd ever received about anything. I think that was an extremely exciting moment. This was the moment when the internet had grown up politically. It was exhilarating because it's hard to believe it actually happened. It's hard to believe a bill with so much financial power behind it didn't simply sail through the Congress. And not only did it not sail through, it didn't pass at all. It's easy sometimes to feel like you're powerless, like when you come out in the streets and you march and you yell and nobody hears you. But I'm here to tell you today, you are powerful. So yeah, maybe sometimes you feel like you're not being listened to, but I'm here to tell you that you are. You are being listened to. You are making a difference. You can stop this bill if you don't stop fighting. Stop Pippa. Stop Sopa. Some of the biggest internet companies, to put it frankly, would benefit from a world in which their little competitors could get censored. We can't let that happen. For him, it was more important to be sure that you made a small change than to play a small part in a big change. But SOPA was like playing a major part in a major change. <laughs> and so for him, it was kind of this proof of concept. Like, OK, I, you know, what I want to do with my life is change the world. I think about it in this really scientific way of like I'm measuring my impact. And this shows